It's non-stop news, hour after hour. Tolo TV was one of the first commercial stations in post-Taliban Afghanistan. It now launched the country's first 24-hour news channel. Officials say it has done more than revolutionize the Afghan media. It offered what Afghans need the most, a way to hold politicians accountable. One of the biggest problems we've had in this country, for example, is that there is no accountability. People feel that the court system is not working properly, they believe that the police is not doing its job, that the prosecution is not prosecuting individuals. Uh, so media is very important because we can go out there and do exposés on individuals and institutions. In the daily editorial meeting, journalists discuss a lead that could uncover a corruption case involving a government official and $2 million. They found a person who is willing to talk about it, but not on camera. We never debate that we can uh, hear this or not. We, we debate how to cover and how to find out the evidence to, to, to make a story like a reliable story. Tolo TV has been outspoken in its reporting. Company officials now say over the next few weeks, they will be extensively covering the run-up to the parliamentary elections in September. They plan to be the watchdog for their public. There is no lack of news in Afghanistan. This country is still at war. At the same time, there are efforts to rebuild it. Hundreds of thousands are internally displaced. Many people don't have access to basic services. And almost every social issue is being debated. Covering controversial issues, however, has led to the harassment and detention of journalists. Shakila paid the toll. One of Tolo TV's top journalists, this young woman has received death threats. Many in Afghanistan, however, wouldn't recognize her. It's only her voice and name that appear on television. She comes from a conservative home that doesn't approve women showing up on television. But here, she found a way to do what she believes in. I try to concentrate on stories involving corruption, especially high-level government officials. I want to expose them to the people and try to force the government to take them to court. For years, Parween has been Shakila's camera woman. As a team, although both are behind the camera, they are a sign of how much Afghanistan has changed. Zen Khudr, Al Jazeera, Kabul.